Ian, what's going on with that Pokemon Sun and Moon for 3DS? So, there's not a whole lot to say right now because it's just been announced, but um, it's the 20th anniversary of Pokemon this year, and they are, of course, like clockwork, they're going to put out um, two new versions, Sun and Moon. What's interesting is it appears that they are, um, for the first time, uh, bypassing uh, doing a third version of the last generation. So there was, just like there was red and blue, and then we got yellow, Mm -hmm. there's gold and silver, we got crystal, uh, and onwards. Uh, They changed things a little bit with black and white, and they gave you black 2 and white 2, which were uh, sequel stories, and kind of fit the bill of what the third ones used to be. So X and Y come out, and everyone's kind of expecting a Z. And instead, they announced these two new titles. Um, The thing that that has been announced for this that does excite me is for the 20th anniversary, they released uh, virtual console releases of red, blue, and yellow on um, the 3DS. And while you can't do internet trading, you can do wireless trading with people who are in the same room with you. Battles, no cables needed. It's kind of cool. Okay. Um, but what's even neater is that there is going to be, through Pokemon Bank, which is an application that lets you store like your vast amounts of Pokemon uh, in a cloud, basically, uh, you'll be able to transfer those to Sun and Moon, which is something you can't do with any of the other Poke- uh, Pokemon games. So I think that's really neat, and that's going to kind of be... Not entirely, I know. But one of the first... Like, it's going to kind of be the first instance of taking those old Game Boy games and letting you transfer them to a, 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 f- a much further generation. Um, there's always been ways with, like, the GBA ones and the DS ones to kind of yeah, sort of transfer your Pokemon up to the next version. Um, but you haven't been able to do that with the original ones. You could trade some up to, I believe, gold and silver, but uh, that was about as far as it went. So I think that's a neat feature for them to throw in. Gives people more incentive to play the um, the originals on the virtual console, and that, that should be pretty cool. But other than that, not a whole lot is announced. It appears there's going to be new Mega Evolutions, uh, but the starters aren't known. The region isn't known yet. Um... So there's going to be a lot more information forthcoming. And that is why there won't be E3 in five years. Because <laughs> I can just us. rattle off five <laughs> sentences. He can rattle off Nintendo's press release for the Pokemon <laughs> games coming out. The thing about Pokemon is I, like... I, 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 I At this point, are, they, are is the audience just as big as it was uh, 20 years ago? Yes. I, I mean, it, working the retail side of it, uh, yeah. I mean, I still get multiple, multiple calls a day for Pokemon titles. Pokemon titles do not last... Um, and it's all ages, all all generations. So it's people discovering it as well as the people that were kids 20 years ago. It's all ages and all generations of systems. Uh, they fly out the door. Um, Not yeah, and it's it, it's huge. Um, part of I, what I've always found kind of interesting is with San Diego being a military town. Um, the the navy Pokemon camouflage. The, no, uh, a lot of the navy and marines uh, they will buy before they deploy. Them and all their friends will come in and clear us out of Game Boys and Pokemon cartridges because nice. it's like if you need like one thing to waste a shitload of time on when you're bored and you're overseas or you're in the middle of the ocean, you're on a carrier, Pokemon's gonna do it. So that's funny as hell. Yeah, it's it's always fun. I can always tell when some when when, when there's a large deployment. So our, our our troops fighting for us and playing with pocket monsters at the same time. It kind of <laughs> makes it kind of makes it you tear up for America. 